Baby, you a masterpiece. God took his time on you. Always on my mind, but I'd rather have my mind on you. Beauty is defined on you. Perfectly designed on you. If you see your flaws, let this play and roll on. Hey guys, it's your girl the short side, and I'm back with another video for you today. So this is a very exciting and highly requested video. I posted myself doing my flexibility routine on Instagram. A lot of you guys wanted to know what I do, so I did exactly just that. This is a flexibility routine that I I do for myself for self-care just as a disclaimer I am NOT a yoga instructor nothing of the sorts I was a gymnast for a large portion of my life so flexibility and stretching is very very important to me and so I'm happy to share this content with you guys and I hope you love it so without further ado here is my flexibility routine so this is a head-to-toe stretch so we're just gonna start with a couple of shoulder rolls backwards And forward rolling our neck around and the other way all right then I just kind of swing my arms back and forth to kind of get them warmed up. I like to go high. I like to go kind of like this too. <laughs> and then I stretch up nice and tall, roll those wrists in the air. And then I take my right hand and kind of gently tug at my left wrist to stretch over to my right. Make sure you're taking your deep breaths when you're doing this. This is a really good stretch for your side body, so you'll feel it all down here, and it feels really good to me at least. Release, stretch them nice and tall again. Grab that right wrist and stretch over to your left. Stretch them nice and tall, ankles together. And you're gonna reach down and touch your toes. Now with reaching down to touch your toes, it's okay if your hands cannot go flat on the ground. My hands are flat on the ground sometimes and sometimes they're not. When they are, I just kind of take my fingertips and hold them there. But you wanna bow your head so you can feel the fullness of the stretch. Arms up again, we're in a straddle stance, and you're just going to stretch on over to your right. Arms up again, stretch up nice and tall, and over to your left. And I hold each stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds. You can hold them more or less, just depending on your body and what your body is saying to you. Awesome, arms up. We're gonna go down the middle. You wanna reach back behind you as far as you can. Just so you feel the fullness of the stretch. Awesome. Now we're gonna have a seat on the floor. Legs out in front of you. And again, I was a gymnast, so like I automatically just point my toes like 
that's just what I do. It's kind of muscle memory. Arms go up and reach over to touch your toes. Very important to keep your head down to feel the fullness of the stretch. Try to grab your ankles if you can. Again, be gentle with yourself and extend yourself some grace if you're not able to stretch over as far as you'd like. Keep on practicing and you will get there. Arms go up again, and we're in a straddle seat now. And you're going to take your right arm, you're gonna fold it under, and you're gonna stretch over to the right. Arms up, bring that right arm under, and stretch over to your left. Make sure you're taking your deep breaths too. Arms up. And you're gonna stretch down to the middle. Now the goal of this stretch for me is to get my entire body to the ground. Working on that, but you know, stretch all the way down. All right, lift it on up. And we're going into butterfly. So butterfly, you want both of your feet to be together and you're kind of like, you know, I'm a butterfly. Now for some, you might want to stretch a little further out if it's a little bit more difficult. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can bring them in closer. And if you're really advanced, you can take your elbows and push those knees on down for a deeper stretch in the, in the groin. Continuing on stretching our hips. So I like to start kind of in a seated position, take my right leg over my left knee and just kind of sit that on down. This stretch is really good for like tight hips. So if you feel like this stretch is too much, I would bring your foot out just a little bit more. If you feel like you're more advanced, I would bring that foot in. And just take deep breaths. This stretch always gets me too because my hips are always super, super tight. And if you feel like this stretch isn't enough, I would lean that leg, whatever leg is sitting down on over, just for a deeper stretch. But I just kind of hold it here for a little while. And to come out of it, I lift my hip up, switch on over and sit it back down. I like to stretch the ankles. So I just kind of go around in some circles, forward, point and flex, just for that good ankle stretch. Awesome. All right, now it's time for splits. Okay, so I'm gonna turn to the side so that you can really get a good understanding of what I'm doing. So this is the best way that I can explain kind of the whole split ordeal. I start on my knees with my hands on my hips 
and I'll stick that right leg on out, okay? Make sure that your foot isn't too far out and your knee isn't over your foot, and you're just gonna push those hips on forward, okay? Now, sometimes you might have the tendency to do this where your knee is over your foot, and you don't want that. Make sure your foot is leading the stretch and push those hips down with your hands, but again, be gentle, because if you're a beginner, this, this may be a lot for a stretch. Because you'll feel the stretch here, and you'll also mostly feel it here, because we're warming up our splits. You can have your hands on your hips, or you can have them on your knee, whichever one feels most comfortable to you. All right, now you're gonna straighten out this front leg. Make sure the leg is all the way straight. Keep the back leg bent, arms go up, and then you're gonna stretch and reach for your ankles. video go grab some yoga blocks go grab some books to hold yourself kind of up if you are not as advanced or if you are advanced you can lean over to make the stretch a little deeper or just keep your chest up those are a couple of options to make the split just a little bit easier also and I'm kind of messed up on there you want to make sure that that back leg is tucked under you want your knee to be kissing the ground when you're in a split Come on out, pull that right leg on up, and come back to your knees. And we're gonna do the same thing with our left leg. So left leg out, and push those hips forward. Again, make sure your foot is leading and not your knee to get that good stretch in your groin as we warm up this left leg split. And pull that knee back, straight leg, arms up, and stretch on over. Stretch over as far as you can with this one, and you'll feel the stretch here in your hamstring and in your calf just a little bit. Leg split again if you need to use those books or those blocks to hold yourself up so you can really get that good stretch in otherwise make sure you breathe <laughs> Pull that leg on up. And we only have just a couple of more stretches. We're gonna prep for our middle split. So in order to prep for our middle split, we first want to do a frog stretch. So in order to do the frog stretch, I kind of like to start on all fours and extend my knees out. You kind of want your legs to be at an angle. And it's very important. Let me move back some. And you go down to your elbows. You don't want to be on your hands. You want to kind of be on your elbows to get that deep stretch in and this is a warm-up kind of for our middle split some people do the frog differently and they warm up their middle splits differently some like to kind of stick one leg out at a time to warm it up like so 
that's your thing that's your thing but I kind of like to just keep it plain and simple with the frog stretch kind of doing it just like this and it's really comfortable to do this stretch like while you're texting scrolling on TikTok watching TV this is a really easy stretch to kind of just sit on and from there I just kind of pop straight on into that middle split now this is to me one of the most difficult splits to do so I would highly recommend to just breathe you got it you're doing a great job this is the last stretch and we are almost done I just come up to my hands, have a seat on my bottom, and close my legs like so. If you want, give it a little shake out. Your legs might, it got stretched out. Okay, so give it a little shake, give it a little shake, and that's it. So you guys, thank you so much for tuning into my flexibility routine video. If you love this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you want more content like this, don't hesitate to let me know. I will absolutely be delighted to do that for you. See you guys in the next video. Bye.